Hi guys! Mabuhay! It's me, your girl in Dynamo! And welcome back to my Taglish channel! side of the universe so guys for today's video after the lookouts this is a great ocean road we are heading to uh, do a food trail drive so guys are you ready what are we waiting for hobby watching Oh, look at this! It looks like it's a bus. It's a bus. Where are you parked? I don't know. I can't park an entranceway. I thought you parked here. I can't. I just need. Yeah, see, it's just like a shed. I can't remember we've been here. Yeah, like I said, it was very close. It was like Maybe very late. Maybe because we're near too close to that. Yeah, it's late in the afternoon. Hello, little doggy. What's up, Wolfie? Oh, the alpaca's got little fluffy feet. Oh, they should be alpaca here. Yeah. So it's gonna say off of our real magpies. Is it real? No. What's up, magpie? Why are okay, that's the one. Oh, there's a wolfie. Oh, it's a chocolate wolfie. Hello, chocolate wolfie. Hello, wolfie. Oh, you're very rotund. Very full. Ate, you can buy an alpaca. Good morning, Ate, you can buy an alpaca. Oh, it's a hot hour. Hey guys, check out alpaca. Alpaca's for sale. Uh oh. Yeah, this looks larger from last time. Last time, uh, I don't reckon I had a cafe here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I reckon this has grown since last time. I reckon last time it finished here and that was it. There was no... Um... Oh, Paka. Oh, it's proper raspberry too. The pot. Kangaroo jam. Plum, chili, fig, orange marmalade. Onions. Oh, let's just buy some of that sauce. Who's our vinegar? Who got coolie? Who got chili sauce? Oh. Come on, start it. Gold Chocolates are the home of the Chocolate Alpaca. Gold Chocolates was established in 2004 in the countryside just minutes from the 12 Apostles. A modest beginning soon gave way to a business appreciated by locals and tourists in the area. Are these cutting builds or like serving plates? Gold Chocolates at the Chocolate Alpaca is a proud member of the 12 Apostles Food Artisan Gourmet Trail. George Chocolate is proud to be a member of such a wonderful group of food artisans that provide a great gourmet experience for locals and tourists visiting the Great Ocean Road and 12 Apostles. Gold Chocolate is now the home of Surala Alpacas which is Victoria's largest alpaca stud. Very expensive. Oh, Ganda. So 
the seating area here. Fire. Sup, Abba Wolfie? Wolfie. You and my son, that one's all tumba and you're here. Wolfie. Sup, Wolfie. Sup, Wolfie. Yeah, it's place like coats changing. Wolfie, you are so Wolfie. Oh. Hi, Jan. Oh, there's a food there. It looks like lavender or something. What's up, Abba Wolfie? Very, very big chan. I like that. Yes, I need you for a drive. <laughs> this is a cocky there. Yeah, I like Another bird. I've got that kid now. Did you get the um, alpaca food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's us. Awesome. Just scrap here. I'll just run some up. I yeah. just had a school group come through. Oh, yeah, no worries. Thank you. Salama. Bag. Okay. Oh, bloody hell, the sun's come out now. Oh, oh, now we need to change outfit now. Too late, we're, have, we're going straight to Timboon after this. I oh, just have to blast the aircon to cool us down. Oh, there's a bunch okay. there. Little ones too. Little baby up packs. Okay. What the guy said. I think he's gonna, he said he's going to bring more up. Oh. I think so, yeah. What's up, Wolfie? <laughs> Hello. I don't know if he's going to bring him up or... How do you have a four-wheel drive in a, in a, in a crop? Oh, I don't know if he wants to come up by around here. Hey, at least they're smaller than you, these ones. Oh, I think he's bringing him around. I think he's going to bring him in and probably cut the grass down. Oh, look, they've all, some have been shaved. They've been shaved. Oh, there's a whole bunch down the bottom too. He like rounds them up. Packers. No, they're in that bottom. No, that pack is just on the ground, I think. Oh, yeah, I think he's rounding him up. No, the ship is there. Not oh, the what are they doing there? Yeah, I think he's trying to get him out of the paddock. They don't seem to herd that well. Mm -hmm. The sheep stay in one unit, so they're easy to move. The alpacas are a bit more singular. So I think he's going to move him into this paddock. Yeah, they don't seem to want to herd as much. <laughs> oh, so fluffy. Where's your story? I can't zoom in on this. Oh no! <laughs> we got an escaped one. This one's escaped. They gallop like horses. Huh? 
They gallop like horses. Oh no, we got some more escapees. Hello, chocolate. Yeah. Now he cannot feed on any food for you. Yeah. Are you going to feed or do you want to hold the camera? These ones aren't as intimidating as the other ones. They're just like big sheep with necks. Uh, where's the Santanino? Otherwise, you could always just put it up on the, the thing like that and then angle it down and wherever it's going to get fed. The other one is missing. I don't know where is that now. It is Victoria's largest alpaca stud and Australia's largest Suri alpaca stud. Now visitor can not only be treated to a great chocolate, hot chocolate and coffee. They can also see the largest herd of alpacas. The shop also now has a large array of wonderful alpaca products made from their super soft fleece. The products range from clothing, giftware, bedding and carpets. The orange is identical to chocolate is so galit. Oh, maybe you show him here. Hello, alpaca. Hello. Hello, alpaca. Oh, you want to still off the ground? You don't want it for me? Oh, you make them scared. Oh, I want to come say hello now. Oh, hello. You want to come? Is it llama or alpaca? Plus to me, I can take the camera. I'll put it on my two hands. You can do your stories. Hello, I look at the block now. Yeah, it's come back. Ah, oh, they don't care. The other ones, the other ones don't want food. They're so full. They're so full. Otherwise, there's a few up here. Yeah, no, they don't like to be herded, it seems. They don't like to be herded. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just going with the ones up the top there. Hey Wolfie, looks like you're molting. You need a big brush. I don't know, I don't know if yeah, those dogs are, I don't know, they look very big and rotund. Oh, here we go. Here's the butter silks. I think these ones are a bit more friendlier. Oh, we're going for sale there too. Do huh? macano. I want to have a my own We can put it in the caravan. Uh oh. Oh yeah, these ones are a bit more receptive, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 
Can you see? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hello. You need a haircut. So, want some? Oh, hello. Can you see me properly? Looks like your eyes are covered. Hello. Yeah, not too much. Oh. That's really good. <laughs> What's on the other side? I don't know. Oh, there's more alpacas over in there as well. Yeah. Oh, look at that, how tall are they? You know? Yeah, I've probably got like a lot of our own food. I probably don't need the extras. Hey. <laughs> the hair is so, so wet. The hair is so wet. Uh, look at a mop. So yeah, it looks like a mop that there. I don't know if that's like long or if it's a different breed. Because all the other ones there look like they're more like fuzzy, like an afro, and these ones here look like I've got mop, like mop Alice, hair. Can you read the alpaca? I don't think so. They're probably not like, yes, I right. probably can't yes, carry right. anything on their. Oh, look at the winery. Um, yeah, I don't think they're known for carrying weight on their back. They're probably just used for their wool, like sheep are. I don't know if they eat them in like South America. But I think in Australia they're mostly just used for wool and um... You see the black one earlier, now it's gonna pass because it's stuck uh, there. It's a big five dollar. I one. think it's just wool and protection, I think. Oh yeah, I don't think we eat alpaca meat here, unless they export them for meat, I don't know. It's a big, no? Because I guess even big ones, they don't really have much meat on them. They're not like a big meaty animal. It's not like sheep too. Hello. You want some? Mm. Hey. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't want this. I can feel their breath on my hands. Like they're sniffing with their nose, I can. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Put on its head. It's got like a wet mouth. You must get it all up in that. There you go. You, have... you dropped it all on the ground, guys. <laughs> you did it... properly, boy. Oh, I can feel their nose, they're like putting my, their nose on me. It's got like a really wet mouth, that one. There you go. Oh, he's got like a wet nose. He's putting his nose on me. Can you entice it? See how far there is, there's two over to the left as well. Can you get your little nose go? You got a soft nose, don't you? Small teeth. Yeah, you can feel its nose and it touch you. Oh, one of the is doing that one. Oh, no, yeah. Can we entice the small ones here? Thanks. You want some more? Yeah, I think it's lavender. Hello. Hey, Mike. Still eating off the ground. There's a lot of onion. Yeah, I think it's lavender. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. Ate, I think the big one wants to eat too. 
Oh, he's so funny. He's got no fur. His fur's been turned into a blanket. Oh, you're pulling now, aren't you? Oh, I'm good on now. Yeah, I'm good on. Oh, this one's got like the nice teeth. I think so. I think these ones are just aren't. I think the bigger they are, they'll probably eat more. I guess bigger mouth and stuff. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, yeah, go around, Sean. Oh, yeah, her name is Sunday Rose. Oh, Sunday Rose. <laughs> oh, you want to come over here too now, do you? Oh, you, you've got a you got a bigger appetite than other smaller ones. You like all about the nibbles, and then you eat it after it. Like yeah, grab. Oh, that's a big bunch. You got. Yeah. Some more going on. We need lots of munching going on. Oh, Owen's drinking some water. We keep it. Why do you keep eating from the side? Eat from the ends. You're getting close to my fingers. <laughs> there you go. Uh, in Dynamo's found the small ones. Okay guys, gonna tune out here. Still got a bit more. Okay, so we're here at Apostle Way Cheese. Um, straight from Dynamo. Since the day, Apostle Way Cheese has taken out a number of major cheese Hawaii and become an important tourist scene draw card for the region. Yeah, I can last time we were here was after 5 o'clock. That's probably why we never got in. Just a short drive from the 12 Apostles and the Great Ocean Road, Apostle Way Cheese is a genuine paddock to plate operation. So yeah, it looks like there's a good view as well. So I'll probably make it all here as well. Tasting area. Good times. There's a cow dragon. Yeah, let's go inside. We can try some cheese. Well, it asks us that you wait until both pieces of cheese are on the board. Yep, no worries. Alright. So, this is our cannon bear. This is um, very creamy and luscious. It's called the Lockhart Gorgeous. We've got we get the milk from the cows next door there. Yeah? There's 250, 270 odd cows. And they get milk twice a day. Mm -hmm. Any milk that we need in here, we actually pump it over and yep. we pasteurise it. That's just a matter of heating it up and then cooling it down again. Yep. We then can bottle it and you still get cream at your top of your bottle so it's not homogenised. Yep. Make our gelato with the same milk. Mm -hmm. And we also make all of our cheeses with that milk. Yep. Now that usually, the cheese making usually happens between Mondays and Thursdays. So this is now the grotto. It's a washed rind. So what happens here is it starts off as a camembert and then part way through its aging process it's actually washed in a type of salted solution. It's not salted only, yeah. there's a bacteria in it. And, and that just makes it stronger and sharper in flavour. Mm. So the next four cheeses are our Habatu range. This one is a plain, it's a semi-hard cheese, and it's a basis for the next three cheeses that you'll taste. Now they use a Danish recipe to make this cheese. 
and you'll find it's very buttery in flavour. This is probably our most popular Havati and that's because it's got granulated garlic placed into the cheese. It's absolutely fabulous in toasted sandwiches. It doesn't taste like it. It's not overpowering though, it just gives it a really nice flavour. Now this one has got chilli flakes in it. Don't be scared because it's not very hot. It's very, very mild. There's a slight little kick at the back of your throat. At the very end of your tasting, virtually after you swallow. Just smell cheese, lovey. You'll mm -hmm. only smell cheese. <laughs> the garlic might have a little bit of fragrance and the pepper too, but the others won't. Oh, the blues do. Oh, you can feel the chilli, but yeah, it's barely anything. It's, it's hardly anything. It's like the most, yeah, the tiniest thing. You probably yeah, well, didn't tell me it was chilli. You wouldn't have known there. there, yeah. Um, we still want the hero, the cheese to be the hero. Yeah. And um, some people are very frightened of chilli, so. Yeah. And even those are not very frightened, they still have it. I'm sure as well, it's probably, um, the cheese like extracts the hotness out of the chilli flake anyway. It's not like it's so concentrated. That's right. So that one's got cracked pepper in it. Yeah, so do, you folk, do you folk like blue cheese? Yeah, if it's if it's um, tastes good, yeah, I'm not adverse to it. Okay, what about yourself? Do you like blue cheese? Just that it. it says it's got mould in it, yeah, yeah but it's pure mould, like it's a, it's a made one. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's been left out for a while. No, <laughs> no. And it only goes blue because oxygen is allowed in. So this one, is the mould is actually, for these two cheeses, is imported from France. So it's, and it's a clear liquid. So um, that's called the Bay of Martyrs. It's a dry, earthy type of cheese, but it's salty and nutty in flavour. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't kick too hard either, like in terms of... No, it's not taste. really. This one's a little bit stronger than the next one. It's actually the same cheese, but it's been placed into a wax and sealed. Oh, okay. So what happens then is it becomes creamier, as you can just see. A little bit stronger, but also a little bit sweeter. Just imagine that at room temperature and then smearing it on a cracker, put a little bit of apple or pear with it. So now we're going on to our feta style cheese. Now this is been marinating in a herb and garlic canola oil. Now we call it a feta style because it's made with cow's milk, not sheep or goat. Yeah. So it's less salty, less crumbly than a normal feta. It's really lovely in your um, in your salads. Mm. You pop it in your pasta. Someone said they put it in their savoury scones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't even have to put like a salad dressing or anything. Yeah, no, just put a little oil on it. Yeah, it's done. This is the same cheese, but it has been done in a chili and garlic. shaking all the bits off. You can have the bits if you want it, but I usually shake it off because it gets too spicy sometimes. So it's just canola oil, so you can eat or use the oil as, as you will. Um, and then you can, if the oil gets below the cheese level, just top it up with canola oil. Uh -huh. that's right. And that's our cheese for today. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, but that's a tiny bit more of a bit of chili that's cube. That's a little bit more yeah. Not that much more though, but... Yeah, well, it seems to have held off. I don't see any rain. It hasn't rained yet, so. No. <laughs> so is there cows? Oh, I think they're on uh, Mother End. <coughs> <coughs> cows, but they also get the milk pumped, I think, from where they milk them. So we're here in the Apostle Way Cheese, guys. So we bought a two uh, cheese. I think which is the second in the cheese tasting, which is the, the garlic, garlic cavati and the wash, wash yeah, grind. wash so grind, like the brutal. I think it's like a brie, pretty much. Yeah, but it's soft, guys. Yeah, yeah the so, first one was probably cooked in the display case. It was a bit more solid, like it's like the cream that had hardened up. But the last one there was, I don't know if it was more softer anyway, and just melted in the mouth. So anyway, hi, my guys, Ayan, and later again. Guys, we're here at Tim Boone Distillery. Oh, Railway Shed Tim Boone Distillery. Or Tim Boone Railway Shed Distillery. So we cut food ahead. You ready? Oh, where you go? In Pug Love and More. Uh, I don't know. Stop, Wolfie. We went down Whiskey Creek Road yesterday. Yeah, that's the one. Is it the one? Yeah. Wow. So we've just gone to the alpaca. We've gone to chocolates. Fudge. Yeah, fudge place. That's if we probably go then back up that way. Is it electrically fudge? Oh, it's like a caramel type of consistency. So yeah, we've gone there. We've gone to the milk place. Then we've driven along here. Then we've gone to Tim Boone there. Then there we've gone to uh, we're here now. There's the ice cream we place there. And then back here there's the cheese place. And that's where we had dinner last night and thing. Oh I do limoncello and stuff as well. Okay, Pissy Papa's gets a lot of alcohol. Yeah, I don't want limoncello. The last time we did the yeah. limoncello. Where was that again? In the sports like the Oh the Italian house. place. Yeah, sports and Yeah. Mahal Dito. But lunch is Mahal. Oh yeah, it's Mahal. That's like three pieces or something. We've got like, that's um, pork bao bun. And there's gyoza. So, uh, we'll go here anyway. It's part of the experience. Well, we got the bin chicken. Bin chickens. Stop. Oh yeah, that's a lot of alcohol.
And the outdoor seating as well. Snake in there, well, look like a snake tail. This candle, some more gin. I think the Philippines are quite generous. I think it's Thailand, it's only like one litre each, but I think Philippines is more. So, guys, Lemoncello. Oh, sorry, he gave me a taste of it as well, and it wasn't too overpoweringly burning. No, 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 I think it could even be homemade. So, lemons from the local area, and it's made here of a distillery. So, yeah, nice. We've got our ciders here, and just waiting for the food. Sup, and Dynamo. Hello, people, how are you doing? Dow. This lunch, we got San Choy Bao here with pork mince and pork belly. And then we have gyoza over there, and we have one in Dynamo. This is what goes into doing all of in Dynamo shorts. 
Oh, sorry. I can't make noise, can I? Oh, yeah. I'll have a more. So we are here at Tim Boone f um, Fine Ice Cream. So it's part of the Twelve Apostles um, Gourmet Trail. It's the Saki Chanko. I think so. So there's the ice cream right there. Yeah, no riding the bicycle. Okay, bug level more. Hi, uh, can I get a two scoop cup please? Yeah. Can I get uh, one scoop of apple pie and one of the rhubarb and raspberry please? Ah, uh, that's it, thanks. Yep. Just... Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's $15, so thank you. Yeah, all good. Cheers, thank you. For what and like yesterday, something because all of that summer probably take the Philippines, give Papa a taste of the uh... oh. I mean, where you can buy, I think you can buy like campus too. Because I'm not sure how it works with the ice cream in there. find a seat and go somewhere. Hey guys, we're here at Full Organic, Organic Dairy, also known as Tim Boon Dairy. Yes, I like the car for Salah Mat Mem, sir. I look like this is the one earlier in the ice cream. Poor idea. We're probably all doing the same trail. Yeah, we have a fossil fruit 
Nice. Yeah, it's all. Oh, my only thing that differs is what order people do it in. You're good? No, yeah, I'm doing my story too. Okay, ma'am, sir. Located only a few minutes away from the Great Ocean Road, shows organic creamery and cafe enjoys a relaxed garden setting on a corner of the thousand acre dairy farm. Very nice nature. Dairy. Sup in Dynamo. There she goes with her stories again. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, that's that? here. Here, I think. In here? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Like in this venue? Yeah. That's probably why we've got the tents outside. So they've got a bunch of cakes here. They've got cheese from the Yarra Valley. Is this real? Yeah. Yeah. Yogurt. Cup as well, the cow. Washed rind to the berry. Hello. Yeah, not bad. It's not bad. I think Sweet has got to make up for it. Yes. <laughs> So that's it guys, that's the food trail here to the Great Ocean Road. If you see earlier, we went to different spot, different areas. After you been looking at the scenic landscape of Great Ocean Roads, the lookouts, after your walking um, exercise. So if you feel hungry on the road guys, we will bring you to another area where you can rest break and mag relax so the first time is the gauge chocolates or the home of the chocolate of alpaca if you see it earlier sa atin video the father the, the other one is the um apostles cheese so we did the uh, cheese tasting plato the on samay apostle cheese factory guys so the third one we went to timbun guys the timbun ice cream the distillery also guys so we had our lunch there and then after that we went to um timbun ice cream timbun distillery guys this is a great ocean road guys it's very quite fun for today's video nakita nyo there's a lot of focus around so ayun na nga guys anyway highway i hope you enjoy watching you learned something today plus you had fun for today's video guys thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting our video and mega love shout out to each wonderful beautiful people of the universe thank you from the bottom of my hi both alums please like if you did enjoy our video for today yeah. and please to subscribe if you haven't yet yeah. and don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified for our next video yeah. and please comment down below if you like this video for yeah. and see you when i see you on my next one bye bye guys be good you take care be safe and mwah chala